I wanted to tell the other time that I cried during the trip. Uh, I had gone up the mountain, uh, Mount Lacant, which is uh, a very large mountain. It's, uh, like I said, the tallest one in the Smoky Mountains. And going up it, it was uh, very shaly. There was a bunch of rocks uh, that would slide out from underneath you. Luckily, it was a very nice day, so not wet or anything. But the uh, never got any uh, uh, flatter than like 40 degrees going up it. And at some times, it was even steeper. It was, it was a wild climb. And, but it felt good to get to the top. But as soon as I got to the top, I, I wanted to sit for a second. But I just kind of wanted to go back down. Like I didn't. Because there was a little village up at the top. And there was a bunch of people there. And they were all resort hikers. They kind of, you take like a very <laughs> lax three mile trail from the other way and everybody had like their phones out and there's a bunch of soccer moms and I remember I walked behind this one old lady with a really big ass which I thought was funny uh going up there but um I just wanted to go back down the mountain and uh so I went down and going down like my almost my world got shattered when I hurt my knee it like uh, uh, I don't know exactly what I did to it. I'm pretty sure it's sprained right now. But if you guys have ever gone down hills on an injured knee, it is a uh, very painful. And I did you, did you injure it on the way down the hill? Yeah. So I'm going down this the tallest mountain, uh, arguably the hardest day, and I injure my knee. And it was a little little pain at first, but uh, after that it it really grew and i've only broken one bone in my life but this was probably the most comparable pain and i'm going through it and uh eventually i get to the bottom i'm like trying to keep look out for uh signs and i know that it's getting dark um and uh, i still have a mountain to climb up and it's totally dark it's i'm hobbling along at not even a mile an hour pace just desperately trying to get to this top and my my mind is is clear while i do it there's no issue of despair there's no you know god this this sucks woe is me or anything it just was a i want to get to the top i just want to get there i want to get back to my camp and so i, I eventually made it up and i remember seeing the sign and it was the the strangest thing my my mind just kind of said okay you're you're good now and uh, I broke down, <laughs> like sobbing, just <laughs> wildly. And I was trying to keep it, and I couldn't. And uh, I remember this was really funny, because there was a bunch of through hikers who were uh, set up at that came campsite. And after about 10 minutes of staring at this sign and, and kind of just collecting myself, I came in. I felt totally empty. I, felt, I almost felt used by the world was the word that came into mind. I felt like it had taken me and, and spread me over something very thin. And I sat down next to these through hikers and uh, they all were talking and being very jovial. And then they all stopped <laughs> and I'm there and I picture myself as this like husk creature. Were uh, they AT through hikers? They were. They, so were. they were like probably a trail family that had already known each other. And yep, they were coming back. Sure. I, I figured out in the morning they were coming back for just a section hike of the Smoky Mountains. But okay, it was it was a. Trail? I'm sorry. What is this? The Appalachian Trail. Yes, the Appalachian right, Trail. Okay. It was a it was a wild wild time. Um, Sure. It's, it, so, I, it's so fucking bad. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh -oh. Somebody didn't need his mic. Uh, um, Mom, uh, give me tendies. <laughs> 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 uh, but yes, that was the hey, other time I cried on the trail. Oh, I told you. I'm on Embarrassing. <laughs> How embarrassing. I think that might be his missus. I don't think it's his mom. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull Dark Side Phil, but on purpose. <laughs> domestic life. Mm -hmm. So that was your second to last day, right? That was the second to last day. And that was the, the also, I called it the high night of pain. Because I laid down in my uh, sack and I went to bed and it got to nine degrees that night. My, oh, uh, 
my and that was without the wind i was told my uh my sleeping bag was rated for 40 degrees minimum and uh my, my sack only added about 10 degrees and this was a weird pain too was uh my lower half of my body i started having spasms and shaking and it, it almost felt like my bones were just it, it's like it felt like muscle pain but deep in my bones it was super bizarre oh and i, I remember it, it's so fun i'm smiling as i'm talking about it because i remember it so fondly because i just i it's cool that i got through it but um it was a an insane night and i i'm sure i woke people up where i'm just essentially kicking this rock wall of this three-sided shelter uh just trying to make this pain stop and eventually i guess i just passed out um yeah, you can't sleep right the first night out of a sprained ankle. It's, it's no. impossible. It was a it was a knee, but the same difference. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was a cool night. That was a cool night. But I'll tell the the last day, and then I think we will uh, go if you'll allow me, because I think this was my biggest, uh, my high one of my highest points for sure. Yeah. Um, so the last day was twelve miles downhill which it was very ironic because the whole time I was dreading the uphills and it really became the, the down going. That was my undoing. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. That's how it is. And so I'm, I'm wake up in the morning. I, uh, have my coffee. I have my breakfast. I, uh, the through hikers are like bong ripping <laughs> right next to me. It was really funny. Um, and, uh, I set off and, uh, this trip down was like i i felt kind of every uh doubt about myself really come out that day because it's almost you can't help it you're moving so slow and you're being lapped by so many people and you are just in so much pain it, it the the adrenals from the last night which had kept me so calm were entirely gone and it was just a, a willful battle to get to the bottom. And I had this fear that I'd be marching in the night. And so many bad things had happened in the night. It's the, uh, when I hiked at night, it was almost a, like a, an irrational kind of wigging me out just because uh, I was like, I can't be in the night. I can't be in the night. I've got to get back. Um, I, uh, and throughout this whole time, I'm having uh, questions of – because the previous night I'd prayed, I'd been praying a lot. I'm not a, I don't go to church. I'm not a Christian, but I did pray probably uh, <laughs> close to a hundred times throughout this trip. Just for, you were that night. For, I was for, <laughs> for strength or for guidance or, or whatever. And um, that night prior I had asked first, I'd asked for the pain to go away. And then I felt, you know, that was the wrong question to ask. And instead I asked, you know, show me someone who I could be like to, uh, to, to get over this <laughs> because I want to earn it was my mind because I want to huh. earn that salvation. I don't want relief from the pain, but I want to be able to get through it. I've already gotten this far and about halfway through the day, uh, I'm like trying to make my way down this hill and I only yelled once and I tripped and my right leg gave out and I almost fell off the trail. I was on a really high ridge line. I dropped my damn trekking pole down the, the ridge line. I had to go down and get it. Luckily, it got caught by a tree, barely. And I just yelled, God fucking damn it, just really loud. I, I couldn't think of anything else to say. And uh, I was just so angry. And I sat back and I'm trying to figure out what to do. And the morning of talking to those through hikers hit me because I didn't say a word. Normally, I'm a very uh, social person, but I just sat and observed everybody the morning. And they had this uh, light aura about them. It was it was like they all were tired and you can tell that they all kind of had, a, you know, bags under their eyes and stuff. They'd be really killing it. But they all had this like uh, just jovialness to them almost like nothing could really touch them. They, they moved very lightly. And uh, just an image of them hit me while I was hiking then. And it all kind of made sense then. 
and it, it's some sort of hormone uh, change happened and like the all the anger and all the the disappointment and all the um, doubts and stuff just totally uh, kind of fell away from me when I realized that that way of operation of it's not being uh, weak or just being uh, acceptable to everybody or anything, but this kind of light movement through the world in terms of just always being uh, weightless, just free from gravity is like the way to go. The floor is like so water. Yeah. Beautiful. It, it just, it was really cool. And so for the rest of the day, I had like a better mindset. I got to the bottom and a uh, John Denver song, Rocky Mountain High came on. <laughs> and I don't remember saving this song, but uh, the words in it were perfect because it was uh, he, you see the man who went to the mountains, he like sought grace in every step hmm. and uh, talked to God while he was out there and apparently he had a casual reply, which I, I, I realized as soon as it came, I'd been doing that. I'd almost been having this conversation in my mind where I would ask, you know, God for, or whoever for something and he'd talk to me just like my buddy would talk to me and it was a, a very beautiful moment there and then I was rewarded at the end with a long nice uh flat to get to the end and I ran it for the last yes. two miles I I my pain was so overwhelming for the two miles and eventually I just stopped caring about it my uh feet were on fire I've got two about quarter size holes in the back of my feet where I've dug down to the skin or down under the skin. And uh, I could feel the blood in my shoes. My, my boots were starting to get wet with all of the, the blood bleeding. <laughs> my, uh, my feet. Oh. And uh, my knee is, uh, I have my trekking poles and uh, my knee is, uh, it'll bend backwards. <laughs> so it will actually, you can almost look like a velociraptor leg where the knee is backwards. Ah, uh, no. And uh, for the last two miles, I because the sun set at seven and I wanted I saw the final sign that I had and I wanted to make it so fucking badly that I just I, I sent it pretty much. And uh, I hadn't thought about that saying that the thousand angels herald my path since the third day. And it was there then, you know, once again, just just saying it once and, and there it was. And I remember pulling over the last hill to get back and getting to my car. And I saw myself for the first time and I just looked fucking horrible. Yes. <laughs> I, I looked like a I feel that. man. And these these really clean cut people walked by me and they were smiling. They had this little tiny dog and it, it was really bizarre sight to see because they looked just normal and they <laughs> and they they asked me if i just finished and i remember <laughs> i couldn't get the words out i couldn't say yes so i just like really slowly kind of nodded at them and uh they said how far did you go and then, then i got some words out and i i sat in my car for a little bit and uh i didn't cry when i finished i didn't uh i didn't have like a Oh, thank God it's over. In fact, I kind of uh, wanted to go back <laughs> already. It was really yeah. weird. Yeah, it was really weird. How long did it take it's for the leg hunger. holes to uh, heal up? They're still they're still busted. Today I went and shot a uh, sporting cl clays with my friend, and uh, I just did it barefoot because I didn't want my shoes digging into my feet. 